Hey everyone, I'm Trisha Swenson with Vail Valley Live and you're watching the weekend edition here and we are really kicking things off this weekend. So many events and activities are getting their start right now and many of these are weekly. We have some daily activities as well. So we're glad you're with us because we have a lot to cover in this next hour. I'm live from Bell Village today. We're starting to see Bell Village kind of start to liven up. A lot of the guests have returned. Our weather uh, is stopped snowing and uh, it's hopefully gonna stop raining by the time we get through the weekend. But it's been a rather cool June. I know that I've mentioned that during the GoPro Mountain Games last week when we were live from here. Uh, a different scene. We don't have nearly the amount of sponsor booths and big, big sponsor areas and everything, but uh, it's still a great vibe out here. Now, one of the things going on that we do have a lot of things happening for Father's Day. So Father's Day weekend happenings, everything from a Super Dad 2K, all right, so that's a 2K Walker Run, and it's going to be over at Nottingham Park in Avon. And you can dress as a superhero, you can wear a tutu, whatever you want. They just encourage costumes, and it's getting the families out for some fun. And you can walk or run it, doesn't matter. And uh, strollers are welcome, wagons, whatever you need to do to, to haul the whole family along with you. So head on over there. Uh, registration will be just a little before nine when this happens, and it, it's short, so it won't take up your whole day. So that's on Saturday and then um, Mintern has a special Mintern market. It's their Father's Day edition. So they are going to be bringing dads out. Nine to two are these fun activities. So they're doing everything from axe throwing. The Wooden Steel Axe Company is going to be here doing some fun things, teaching you how to do it. They'll have a little competition in case you're getting this. And then uh, a few other things that they'll have. The Bill Golf Club is going to be down there and they have some putting and chipping competitions and some uh, cool different things that you can win. They've got uh, gift certificates to grill on the gore. They have golf for two at the Vail Golf Club. They also have some um, balls that they're going to give away, some golf balls with the Minton logo. So it's, it's pretty fun what they're doing over there. And then Eagle River Whiskey Company, which is brand new in Minton, they are going to be pouring some sips of their brand new whiskey. And then we're going to also have a wild mountain sellers they will be pouring stuff as well then we have some produce and some other of our farmers market favorites so that happens on saturday and then we've got spa deals for dad over at exhale spa if you buy one spa treatment you'll get the second one at 50 percent off so that could be a good way for both you and dad to have a good time out there and that is exhale up the park hyatt in beaver creek and then I know that they're doing a gift card special over at Spa Anjali. So you can save on a gift card that dad can use anytime. And then one more thing going on, Vines at Bail, they're doing some Father's Day specials. So if your dad likes wine, cigars, and charcuterie, this is going to be the place to go. And Vines at Bail is out at Four Eagle Ranch, real fun place to go. Maybe you could do a cattle drive and then head on in and taste some wines and the, the zip line happens out there a lot of other fun things happen out there the wagon rides have started so Fort Eagle ranch pretty cool place to be and then the craft beer classic they're going to be having this on saturday so friday and saturday but we've already done friday so saturday be a good time to go and then our lifts are open gondola one behind me we have Ghani number 19 out of uh, the eagle bond area of lionside and then Centennial Express is open for you out of Beaver Creek. So that's what we're gonna kind of talk about today. So we're covering that, and then we're gonna let you know about the weekend weather. Like I mentioned, it's been a rather cool start to the month. We're a little over halfway through. Um, summer isn't officially begun. That'll begin on Wednesday with the summer solstice on the 21st of June. But until then, we're gonna stay kind of in the 60s for Saturday. And then for Sunday, we break out. We've got a lot more sunshine. And then as we go into Monday and Tuesday, into the 70s as well. So I think the, the, the weather will be changing quite a bit by the time we get to the early part of this week. And these are temperatures for Vail. So if you go down Valley, Edwards, Eagle, Gypsum, it'll be a little bit warmer down there. That's typically how it goes. Lower in elevation, it warms up quite a bit. So, but you know what we say, if you don't like the weather, wait 15 minutes or drive 15 miles 
it's bound to change. But that's a quick look at what we're going to do this morning on the weekend edition of Vail Valley Live. So uh, stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to be talking to Megan Buchanan. She's been on this show before, a good friend of ours. And uh, she's Grit. She's the founder of Grit, which is growth and gratitude and integrity and all that. And she has been on the quest to climb the seven summits in the world and then also the North and South Pole. The North Pole is the last one she needs. So we're going to find out more from her about what she's been up to and learn about uh, a great fundraising dinner she has coming up at Elways. So all that and more, but right now let's take a look at what we have going on with the outlets at Silverthorne. Hi, I'm Peggy Ziglin, fashion guru and stylist for the outlets at Silverthorne. I'm here today to share with you some amazing looks from Under Armour. And first, before we get started, be sure and pick up your savings card booklet at the Colorado Welcome Center. It's totally free because at Under Armour, you can save an additional 25% off one item. So now, let's see the fabulous fashions. Rachel! Rachel's here in her black stormproof and warm puffer jacket. She has her pink cold gear layer on, her fitted black tie-dye leggings. She also has her black around town, town gloves, love them. And she has her Sonic shoes. Whole outfit would be $438, comes to $237. Rachel's gonna save $200.91, all from Under Armour. Thanks, Rachel. And next comes Enza. Enza's looking fabulous in her iridescent pink insulated coat, super warm and super cute. She's got her black and white stripe three quarter zip top on. She has her black and white leggings, her pigtail hat, of course, all around town gloves and her infinite shoes. Whole outfit would be $319, comes $176. Enza is saving $143. Thanks, Enza. And now it's all up to you, Elizabeth. Elizabeth has on the cutest outfit. She's got her aqua teal infrared cold gear hoodie on. She also has her fabulous teal turtleneck on. She has her fun seafoam headband. She has her compressed leggings, which I love, so comfy. Her round town mittens and her platinum charged rogue running shoes. Whole outfit would be $458, comes to $244. She's saving $213. Way to go, Elizabeth looking great. And Maddie. So Maddie has on one of my favorites. She's got her cold gear black vest on. Super stylish and super warm. She also has her pink three-quarter zip cold gear top on. She has her mauve compression um, tights on. She has her knit hat, her knit all-around town gloves, and her charged Gemini shoes. $363 retail, $193 outlet. She's saving $169.90. Thank you, Maddie. And next we have Yandel. Yandel. Hello, Yandel. Here he is. He's in Under Armour. He's got his cold gear insulated hoodie coat on. He has his graffiti hoodie on. His sweatpants, his yellow beanie, his charged yellow shoes, which are all right now, two for $80, oh my gosh. His backpack, which is buy one, get one at 80% off. So his whole outfit would be $322, comes to $167 right here at Under Armour Outlet, saving $154. Thanks, Yandel. Okay, Anna Nicole, here you go, girl. She's got on one of my favorite coats ever. It's a pink faux fur hoodie jacket, her purple abstract hoodie. She has her black legging, her black striped beanie and gloves, and her pursuit shoes. Again, two for $80 for the shoes. $225 retail comes to $134. She's saving $90. Thanks, Anna Nicole. And now Marina. Marina's here in one of my favorites too because it's all part of the Project Rock movement. She has her fleece jacket on, which is a gorgeous color of gray blue. Her Project Rock tee, she has her Project Rock compression burgundy print leggings, her Project Rock hat, her maroon tote bag, and her cutting edge innovative shoes. Whole outfit would be $475, comes to $300. Oh my goodness, she's saving $175. Looking great, Marina. And 
thanks to Project Rock. These are some of the great examples of savings you can find every day at the outlets at Silverthorne. We believe in the power of a live performance. We believe in making memories together. Join us as we celebrate 25 years of making moments that last a lifetime. Bringing concerts, comedy, Broadway, classical, dance, and family entertainment in the heart of the Rocky Mountains in Beaver Creek Village. View the full lineup and get tickets today at villarpack.org. Hey everybody, we are here at Elway's because we wanted to talk to Megan Buchanan. She is going to let us know about a fabulous wine dinner that's going to be held at Elway's on Saturday night and we're going to catch up with her on some of her adventures. All right, so uh, Megan is a good friend of our station and we've been keeping tra tabs on you for quite some time. Yes. And I know that you've been um, doing the quest of not only the seven summits, mm -hmm. but the trekking to the south and the North Pole. We just have the North Pole left, left. right? Yes, for the oh Explorers Grand Slam. I know, and the last time we talked, I was getting ready to set out for Norway, <gasps> but the expedition was canceled, which it often does. Yes. It's happening because of the war in Russia and just logistics. But this is stuff you just have to like, you have to move with, so you have to wait another year. So yeah. we're trained. So in between, I just did a little fun climbing to climb the highest peak in Bolivia, Sahama. So, you know, why not? Why not go to there? I know. You know what? There's no rest. You know, she's like, oh, okay, I'll just take another trip. Pivot. The pivot. <laughs> we all learn how to pivot. So now tell us, for those that don't know, the Explorer's Grand Slam. Yes. Tell us about what this is and all the different points on the earth that you have to reach. Yeah, so the Explorer's Grand Slam is the Seven Summits. So the Seven Summits is the highest peak on every continent around the world. So that includes, of course, Everest for North America. That is Mount Denali in Alaska. For Africa, that's Kilimanjaro. Um, you know, for, you can do um, Australia, which is Kosciuszko. Yep. Um, Antarctica is Mount Mansif. And then, and then what else am I, what else am I forgetting? Uh, South America, yeah. Yeah, I can oh, okay, And yeah. then it's the last degree ski to the North and South Pole. Um, and so that's the last like 60 nautical miles. It's extreme expedition and that's the Explorer's Grand Slam. Which, so I am almost there. I'll be the fifth US woman to ever complete that. Oh my gosh. And then after that, I'm hoping for the Adventure's Grand Slam, which is the longer version of expedition to the North and South Pole. <laughs> but we'll take care of that later. Let's oh just my do God. the first part. There's no stopping. <laughs> like there's just always more goals, more goals, more Always, goals. yeah, right? But you know what? And when I, I remember in April when it did get canceled yeah. and, you know, I know it's disappointing, but I like the fact that you use GRIT, which is the nonprofit you founded and that whole philosophy to not get too down about it. You, you just, yeah. just did the next thing. So yeah. explain what GRIT is. Yeah. So GRIT really for me, and it starts as a little kid with um, dyslexia and a learning disability. So ever since I was a little child, my mom taught me, you just have to work hard for what you want. So I didn't really know any difference. So when you have setbacks, when you have disappointment, when you have devastation, you've got to own your situation or change your situation and turn it into something that you can do something about. Yeah. And so grit is, and I kind of like this spell with two G's because uh, it's dyslexic, you know, it's like, anyway, so it's, <laughs> it's gratitude, growth, resilience, integrity, and tenacity. Yeah. And through those tools, I've learned to overcome any obstacle and any challenge to be able to persevere and move forward. And I love teaching other people how to do that. And it doesn't have to be climbing Mount Everest. It's really going through disappointment in your life, yeah. challenge in your life. We all have something. Life is a constant challenge. Yeah. So wouldn't it be greater if we could just accept and roll with it and find happiness oh, yeah. and, and take ownership and change our narrative. And, and that's what it's about. Yeah, and not waste all that time. Yeah. You know, being in that lull and just yeah. wallowing and, and self -hating. Yeah, I usually get myself, like when something like that happens, I'm like, you get one night, pity party, <laughs> and then tomorrow you need to get up and like freaking do something about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So cool. yeah, so with this, at this point, honestly, I'd been so, through so much, um, just with, with Everest, trying to get that yes. done in COVID actually something being canceled, I was like, well, all right, this is kind of, you know, roll with it, it's, it's usual. So I instantly just called friends, hey, what are you climbing? So I did something fun and I'll just train another year. Yeah. And, and you know, it's one of those things too, where I've been so focused on it, but I also have like a breakthrough where it, it isn't all that I am. Yeah. 
And so yeah. I'm, I'm happy with what I've achieved. I want to keep going. But if that doesn't work, I'll find a new path yeah. and keep bringing forward there. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and just looking at some of these places that she's been, we've got some photos I think we can pull up and just, uh, it's so interesting to see these places in the world. And I like how you, you'll bring up the sign. <laughs> that, you know, that has grit on there and, and you can yeah. follow the Instagram and your little motivational things that you do. But I mean, you've seen these beautiful places in the world. Oh, yes. Yeah. And uh, not very glamorous all the time. Uh, camp 3, <laughs> Camp 3, or, yeah, or South Cole of Everest, one of those. Oh yeah. my gosh. Hanging out. Yeah, just hanging out. <laughs> and wait for summit. And everything and just, um, you know, seeing some of these great places and then getting to share your story. I yeah. think that's so inspiring because, you know, as a youngster, you were diagnosed with a dyslexia. And, but like you said, like your, your parents were very supportive yeah. and they just taught to you like you know what you just work hard and I think that in no matter what you do just always do your best you know yeah. try to do your best and work hard and you'll reach the top of the world I know and you know what so many people tell you also is in what we're saying right now you've heard it a million times I think the big difference is you want to do your best but it's actually coming to terms to learn to love yourself yeah. with everything that we are yeah. inside that's the hard work and that takes you a long time, but it's practice every day. And it's building that love and choosing every day to, nope, I'm not gonna listen to those negative voices telling me I can't, I won't, I'm not good enough. I'm gonna choose to love myself today. Uh, yeah, and but, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know, just like practice with piano practice or, or weightlifting, yeah. it's, it's repetition, it's doing it over and yes. over again. And I love on your website how it says choose to rise, you know, yes. because you can, you can go to the higher state. You can choose to, yeah. um, you know. You have to choose that every time. And especially, and I found, I have found so much joy now in really speaking out to everyone with neuro, neuro, that are neurodivergent, whether it's dyslexia, ADHD, um, autism, auditory processing disorder, whatever it is, teaching you're going to get knocked down over and yeah. over again. Let's, let's just say life is hard enough as it is, yeah. but then throw on a learning disability. You've got to choose to rise. You've got to choose to get back up wipe off your knees, you know, and, and wipe your tears and keep going. And, and one more thing that we've got to tell you about Megan is, okay, not only, you know, did the dyslexia, you know, you know, you, you, you deal with that, but, um, you had a horrific snowboarding accident in Vail's back bowls. Uh, what, what year was this? It was right. Super oh my, Bowl weekend, it was, it uh, was like 13 years ago. So it was a while. And I, I think you're not really a Vail resident until you have, you have your orthopedic <laughs> surgeon on speed dial. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yes. And, and what's really neat about that too is, is, I mean, they were telling you, you know, all the different things they were doing to your yeah. leg. Ski Patrol had never seen anything like that. Even the doctors had never seen anything yeah. like that. And so to be able to come back from that, a physical ailment, yeah, that's... And that's where it kind of started for me, too, is I actually bounced back. They were told you'll know, have a wheelchair or a cane the rest of your life. And instantly I was like, oh, no, no, that's not my life. And I started working. But then people were asking me, how do you have this amazing attitude? And that's when I really started figuring out, oh, it's because I've always known just to work hard, being a little kid, diagnosed. And that's how grit came to be for me. I figured out like, hey, I got something here. Oh, I know how to navigate through difficult situations with yeah. that positivity and that tenacity to oh, keep yeah. going. Yeah. And that fire in your belly just to, to make what you want in your life happen. Okay. It's amazing. I know. Yeah, it I know. Okay, <laughs> yeah. top of the world. So yeah. So um, what we got tomorrow? I mean, on Saturday night is going to be um, a dinner that we wanted to know about. But hey, let's take a commercial break. Yeah. Let's come back. We're going to talk about um, the the wines that are going to be featured there, and some of the great folks at Elways. They do a lot with Megan. So let's take it to a break, and then we'll come back and give you some details on how you can learn more, how you can participate, and uh, find out that she doesn't just climb to the summits, she also loves some wine with Summit in her name. Yes, I do. <laughs> Nap Harvest. We are showcasing healthy habits, and you can start right here feeding your family healthy, healthy, organic vegetables and fruits that are seasonal and local. They're all the way from Arizona with our wonderful, beautiful citrus fruits that we sneak across the border for. But don't forget our nap mushrooms. Grown at 9,000 feet, mushrooms are chock full of benefits for you. And then also the microgreens, also chock full of vitamins. Come see us at Nap Harvest in Eagle Ranch on Sylvan Lake Road next to Color Coffee. We're open seven days a week, Monday through Friday, 10 to 6, Saturdays and Sundays, 10 to 4.
Join us every Tuesday at 6 p.m. and watch Bell Valley Latino. Our goal is to elevate the voices of the Latino community in the Eagle River Valley and provide a platform to speak with local businesses, organizations, entrepreneurs, creatives, and much more. Find the show on Facebook, YouTube, and outside television, Channel 17. We are Bell Valley Latino. The 84th Annual Eagle County Fair and Rodeo rides into town July 24th through the 29th. Great food, live music, 4-H exhibits, and more. Wednesday through Saturday, enjoy thrilling carnival rides and nightly PRCA Pro Rodeo action. Friday and Saturday nights, kick up your heels with country singing sensation Buck Ford. Don't miss the fun. Get your tickets online now at EagleCountyFairAndRodeo.com. All right, we are back with Vail Valley Live, and we're going to let you know about a great fundraising dinner that's happening right behind us at Alway's on Saturday night. Once again, Megan Buchanan is joining us, and she's going to talk about this wonderful dinner that you are doing, not only with Elways, but you're uh, pairing up with this wine company. So yes. tell us about this. Oh, my gosh. I love Seven Apart. So they are an extraordinary vineyard out of Napa Valley. Okay. Um, with world-renowned winemaker Andy Erickson, who's absolutely amazing. But they they are about the journey and the experience and, and, and doing things right. And their wines are called Expedition Summit Base Camp. So we were paired up about two and a half years ago. Uh, they wanted me to come be on a panel for their, their, yeah. their members talking about the expedition. And we just fell in love with each other. Oh. And so I take a bottle of wine on every climb I do. I've always done this because I am a huge enophile. I love it. So they have been an amazing sponsor of mine. I carried a bottle of, it, I'm not that crazy. It was a, it was a half bottle. Okay. I'm yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> you know, cause, cause I'm weight still, matters. Like everything matters. in your backpack is like, a I'm like, forget for. extra water. We're taking no, but a, yeah. um, a bottle of their wine summit to the summit of Everest. Oh my gosh. This is actually, and I have to give it to them um, for this. This was the ball that I took up to the top of Kosciuszko. This is their, they make pretty much all Cabernet Sauv from Sauvignon, but this is um, their one um, Sauvignon Blanc. So I carried this to the top of Kosciuszko to finish the seven summits. So I'm going to give this to them when okay. they're out here. Okay, But perfect. anyway, so they're coming out. And Elways also helped sponsor me for my Everest yeah. climb. And they're just absolutely amazing. I'm so grateful for the Vail Valley. And so we are doing this dinner together. They're coming in from Napa Valley. And we are going to talk about the seven summits. We're going to talk about seven apart. Uh, we're going to talk about just achieving the extraordinary, reaching your full potential. And we are raising money for the Learning Disabilities Association of America, which I climbed to raise awareness for. Yes. Of course, it's so dear to my heart. They are absolutely instrumental in, first of all, making legislation for people with neuro neurodivergence, and then also helping people get the resources to be diagnosed yep. um, and then navigate their way through the special gifts that they have as having a learning disability. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. neat. And, and you know, if, if you're just joining us right now, uh, Megan Buchanan has been to the top of uh, so many different peaks in, in the world, you know, the seven. So how does it go? It's the seven um, highest peaks on each continent. It's the highest peak on each continent yes. in yep. the world. Yes. Okay. And then uh, and then I'm doing the, the last degree ski exploration to the North and South Pole okay. as well. Yes. Okay. yes. And then we'll see what happens after that. Oh, well, maybe <laughs> she'll take a nap. I don't yeah, know. I mean, no, no naps. <laughs> So yeah, so this five course meal that they're going to be doing at yes. Elways is in celebration of this and just a chance for, you know, the Valley locals to come out and be able to, to meet you and talk yeah. to you. There's not many seats left. No, we have a few seats left. Um, and so you can get a hold of Elway's restaurant mm -hmm. um, to get signed up for Saturday night. Okay. And the dinner starts at six and it's going to be a really fun group of people. And um, may, if you like Cabernet Sauvignon, and I'll tell you, a lot of their wines is the peak of Napa on Atlas Peak and Stag's um, Ridge. Okay, yes, so that's the location. 
I mean, anything from that area, please. It's so yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. I know. That's so funny. Yeah. And um, and what's so neat is that you know so much about wine as well. And I love the fact that, you know, you're trekking and you got it in the backpack. And she takes all these funny pictures and puts them on her Instagram. And I you're do. like, little ball of wine has its own little journey and expedition. <laughs> I put little, like, little down jackets on it. But the, the thing that's fun then, too, you take this wine to the summit. And you get back down, and I'll tell you, there is no better glass of wine than something that's made an incredible journey yeah, with yeah, you. Yeah. So, yeah, oh, so you so think you'll get all the way back down? Usually, because you really can't stop at the top. <laughs> no, no. I mean, you got to get yeah. off that top and get back down. So I love the to share it okay. with my teammates when we're back down, or at least like down to the first camp that we yeah. can. Oh yeah, yeah. Where we, you break, can we break into that pretty fast. Just relax when we're in safe. When we're bit. safe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. safe <laughs> zones. Yeah, safety first and everything. Yeah. Now, okay. So, what's next for you? I know that the the expedition to the north pole yes. for the final of the explorers grand slam yeah. did get canceled in april um hopefully maybe next year i'm hoping next spring it's on again until you know it's geopolitical it's whatever happens you, you've got to roll with it but for me what i'm really doing is i'm really focusing on grit right now okay. and i am starting to do a lot of keynote speaker jobs um building a 501c3 really helping to inspire others and writing a book and i can't wait for that next part of the journey yeah, yeah. yeah. okay yeah all right so it's still you'll see a lot me climbing a veil here and there yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you know i love it because like she'll be like oh i'm just on my way i'm going up Bachelor golf or i'm hiking yeah. up veil and so you never know who you're gonna meet on the trail <laughs> you might see megan she usually has a a really cool hat that says grit. My trucker it. hats. I love trucker Two hats. Jeans. Okay. And uh, if we want to follow you, um, yes. the website and social media, what's the best way? Everything is G G R I T. So on Instagram, be great. Please follow. I always share inspirational messages. But then when I'm on the expedition, I share that as well. Yeah. And I love, especially, um, I love hearing from parents whose kids are inspired that may have dyslexia or whatever it is. Reach out. I will absolutely reach back to your kids. Um, my website is the same, G G R I T. And yeah, follow me. Reach out. Let's get through this this whole journey together. I know. And, and then like I'll see one of the posts, and I'm like, oh, okay. What have I done today? <laughs> um, like <laughs> nothing. I better do something today. I better I choose to rise. But you no, know, I love your message. One I step at a time. Yeah. One step at a time. Yeah. yeah. You, everyone's got their own Everest. Okay. Perfect. Well, hey, I know you got a busy weekend, so yeah. I'll let you go. But um, yeah. So it's um really awesome. So check out the wines. Seven Apart is pairing up with Always to do this great fundraiser. Yeah. So uh, there. There's more details for you. It'll be on Saturday night, starting at 6 p.m. We'll be back with more of Vail Valley Live. Thanks for joining us for the weekend edition. This season marks the 25th anniversary of the Villar Performing Arts Center in Beaver Creek. In the past quarter of a century, this venue has provided entertainment for all ages and is considered to be a beloved gem in the Rockies. This 535 seat theater is nestled in an unusual location underneath the outdoor skating rink on the plaza level of Beaver Creek. Littmann's Kunstler Theater in Munich, Germany provided the inspiration for the wood paneled columns, walls and ceilings that are combined in the curved horseshoe seating layout also found in many traditional European halls, providing unobstructed views from all seats. Fundraising efforts started in 1995, and its groundbreaking was in April of 1996. On opening night, February 5, 1998, there was a dedication of the Ford Family Relief, a wall outside the venue that depicted the Fords participating in a variety of valley-wide events. President Gerald R. Ford and wife Betty were supporters of the Villar Performing Arts Center from the beginning. The opening week's acts included Ani and Ida Kavafian with the Santa Fe Pro Musica Orchestra, Spalding Gray, All-American Dance Stars, Capital Steps, and Marvin Hamlish. The Villar Center stage has since hosted some of the biggest acts in the entertainment world, such as Train, Cheryl Crow, country music stars Trace Adkins and Jennifer Nettles, Huey Lewis, Rick Springfield, Lucas Nelson, Keb Moe, orchestras from all over the world, dance companies, and Broadway productions like Rent, Kinky Boots, and The Producers, and many, many more over the years. We're 
else can you ski, hike, bike, or golf and literally be a short walk away from world-class entertainment? The Villar Performing Arts Center is that gem in the Rockies that completes not only the Beaver Creek experience, but the Vail Valley experience. Oh, we are back with the weekend edition of Vail Valley Live. I'm Trisha Swenson in Vail Village, and we have fired up the lifts. I've got the trail maps behind me. There's a specific hiking map, and there's a specific biking map. And the good thing to know about this is that we actually have different trails for different activities. Some trails are shared, but not a lot. And that's nice, because if you're just in the zone on your mountain bike, you don't really want to be like coming upon a family of four with two small children. Or if you're hiking, you don't really want that mountain biker coming upon the family of four with two small children. So it's nice to have these separate things. So we've got that for you. So the lifts will be open this weekend and then every day all the way through Labor Day. And then we go weekends only uh, to early October in Vail and the end of September in Beaver Creek. But another thing that's going on, we have the Vail Arts Festival in Lion's Head Village. And this is actually the 38th annual and a lot of these artists have come year after year to this so we're super excited to have over 60 artists representing 22 different states and it's everything from watercolor oil painting sculpture woodworking uh, clothing, jewelry, just so many great things to see. Just really inspirational as well. You know, we've got such a beautiful backdrop here, but it's mirrored by the beauty and the creativity of what we're gonna see here. They have a special kids zone going on. They're gonna have some strolling entertainment. And we'll start at nine o'clock on both days. And then on Saturday, we'll go till six. And on Sunday, we'll go till five. So a little bit less on Sunday as people are moving on to the next show. But what a tradition. This would be through Lion's Head and Arabelle Square. And then Eagle Bond Gondola is right there. If you already have your Epic Pass for next year, you can maybe take a little hike and enjoy the mountain and then come back and uh, take in a little bit of culture. Now, another thing that's going on, uh, new this summer, the Weston Riverfront Resort and Spa, they are doing some fun things on their patio. Stoke and Rye is the relatively new restaurant. It opened last summer, but if you haven't been here for a while, You'll probably think it's still Maya, but they are open and they're going to have music. They used to do Friday afternoon club, but they're not limiting it to Friday. They are doing some fun things Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So this Saturday we have DJ Nevada, who does a lot of music in the Valley. He'll be the DJ at yoga stuff and all sorts of things. So super cool. So we've got that happening. And then the Vail Craft Beer Classic, that is going on tomorrow from 1.30 to 5. 1.30 is if you pay for the special early access, otherwise two to five for the public. We have a ton of breweries from the state of Colorado that are gonna be represented. And not only beer, but we'll have some hard seltzers, we'll have some ciders, and um, you can check out the pour list on the website. And that means you can see what the different companies will be pouring. So you've got a particular beer, you know, they're bringing out the special stuff. So it's, it's really a lot of fun. And they've been doing this, wow, I think seven years now. Uh, they've been doing this in Vail Village, so we're having a, a lot of fun with that. So we're excited to offer that for you. So keep that in mind if you're looking for something to do this weekend. And it is Father's Day as well. So if you want to do, bring Dad out for any of this, he can join you also. So that's a few things that are going on. Let's take a two quick, quick break. I'll roam around and see what else I can find here for the weekend edition of Vail Valley Live. We'll have weather for you up next.
welcome to Nap Harvest. We are showcasing healthy habits, and you can start right here feeding your family healthy, healthy, organic vegetables and fruits that are seasonal and local. They're all the way from Arizona with our wonderful, beautiful citrus fruits that we sneak across the border for. But don't forget our nap mushrooms. Grown at 9,000 feet, mushrooms are chock full of benefits for you. And then also the microgreens, also chock full of vitamins. Come see us at Nap Harvest in Eagle Ranch on Sylvan Lake Road next to Color Coffee. We're open seven days a week, Monday through Friday, 10 to 6, Saturdays and Sundays, 10 to 4. The 84th Annual Eagle County Fair and Rodeo rides into town July 24th through the 29th. Great food, live music, 4-H exhibits, and more. Wednesday through Saturday, enjoy thrilling carnival rides and nightly PRCA Pro Rodeo action. Friday and Saturday nights, kick up your heels with country singing sensation Buck Ford. Don't miss the fun. Get your tickets online now at EagleCountyFairAndRodeo.com. At My Future Pathways, our mission is to be the helping hand that enriches and elevates the lives of youth and families of our valley so they can reach their full potential. Through our holistic approach, our tutoring service and programming strengthen our community, develop self-worth, create opportunities, and promote values. We are My Future Pathways. This weather and mountain report is brought to you by Grand Hyatt Vail, Hyatt's newest luxury resort in Vail. Welcome back to the weekend edition of Vail Valley Live. I'm Trisha Swenson coming to you from Vail right on Bridge Street and uh, right in front of the Red Lion, one of the uh, oldest buildings, oldest establishments in the Vail Valley. Uh, it's been many things throughout the years uh, down in the basement. They would use it as a hospital. They would like take people off the mountain. Ski Patrol would tend to them, but the restaurant has always been here. So it's pretty legendary. And one of the best things that happened out of COVID was we got to do the outdoor dining. And you know what? They got to keep that even when the restrictions went away and the lockdowns went away. So that's what's really cool. So you really can dine on the streets of Vail if you so choose to. But let's take a look at the weather and find out what we can expect for the weekend. Saturday, if we can get through Saturday, a little bit of rain, some cloud cover, cooler temperatures. But once we get to Sunday, Father's Day is going to be awesome. We're going to see the sunshine. We're going to see warmer temperatures. And then we'll have that pattern stick with us for the next several days. Wednesday is the official start to summer. So I've been saying happy spring to people because it sure has felt like spring. Uh, really cool temperatures, lots of moisture, even some snow up in the higher elevations in the earlier part of the month up on Eisenhower Tunnel, Johnson Tunnel Pass, and then Vail Pass as well. That's up at 12,000 feet when you're going through the Eisenhower Johnson Tunnel. And about 10.6 is where the elevation rounds out at the top of uh, Vail Pass. But this weekend, not only do we have Father's Day on Sunday, but we have the first Vail Farmers Market and art show. So it's not just produce. They have a lot of artisans and a lot of makers. It's a maker space for so many people that have their wares and they're showing them. So it's one of the largest, I think it's the largest here in the region. And it goes on for 17 weekends per year, 40 food vendors, and 100% fun. So this go all the way through October, uh, second weekend of October, October 8th, it looks like on 2023. 9.30 is when it starts. It goes to all about 3.30 in the afternoon. So you have plenty of time to get out there and maybe kind of wander through. I like to go there just for lunch, especially with those 40 different food vendors. Basically you can have something different. Your whole group can just pick and choose what they want. If you have a finicky group, hey, that's what you do. So um, you can see some of the vendors that are listed on the website because there, there's so many of them. So whether you're looking for honey, maybe you want some lotions, maybe you're looking for a wedding gift, you'll find something unique. And this is 
helping these local and regional artisans and produce growers. So it's kind of cool to think about that. Like you have a birthday coming up or you gotta get that wedding present, shop at the Vale Farmers Market and that money, it just kind of stays in the cycle and it helps locals out. So that's going on this weekend. Then I mentioned the lifts up at Vale and Beaver Creek are starting. So Gondola One, where I just was, that's gonna be open for you as well as Gandhi number 19. And uh, 9.30 to four is what we're gonna be doing at Vale, and then 9.30 to four over at Beaver Creek as well. So sometimes they have that at 10 o'clock at Vale, but no, it's nice to know that both resorts, Vale and Beaver Creek, are gonna be 9.30 to four, and then we'll be daily all the way through Labor Day, and then weekends only, um, until September 24th at the Beeve, and they're just Saturday and Sunday. Vail is Friday, Saturday and Sunday, but Vail is gonna go through the early part of October. So in addition to the lift service, the resorts are offering other activities at either the base or the top. So uh, if you're over at Beaver Creek, you can try, try gem panning. You can do bungee trampoline. They've got an amazing mini golf course. That's uh, pretty hard. You know, you can work on your short game there. So we've got that for you. And then we've got all sorts of live music happening up at Spruce Saddle on Saturdays, down at the base. They have a special Thursday night concert series that's going on up at the Beeve also. And then they have yoga Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings at 9 a.m. They have the Fossil Posse. Billy Dorn will be here talking about dinosaurs and other creatures that roamed. Eagle County, if you can believe it, gazillion years ago. So a lot of things happening. BeaverCreek.com will have those details on what the daily activities are, and a lot of them are free. And then what some of the ticketed items are, if you're gonna be going up to Spruce Saddle. They have a scenic lift ticket that you can buy. They also have a bike haul, bike ticket that you can purchase for your bike if you don't feel like hauling you know, your lungs and your legs hauling that bike up there. Um, and then of course, 4th July, we had that happening. So a lot of the things going on. 4th July is coming up really quick. Um, so that would be really fun to see. So they have that going on. And then over at Lion's Head, at the base of the Lion's Head gondola, they have mini golf. So that's super fun. And then once you get to the top, they'll have the kids zip lining. They're bringing back summer tubing. They also have uh, the forest flyer, which is kind of like a little roller coaster that's just powered by gravity and it takes you around uh, the, the western part. I, I just love this. I love the forest flyer. Really a fun thing to do. So if you're looking for something to do, you know, in the afternoons, this, you buy your tickets down below and then you head on up and then those activities will happen. Now, uh, if the weather gets a little inclement, they do have to shut down the lifts sometimes and they do have to cease the activities sometimes. So it's always good to just kind of maybe go earlier in the morning where we won't see as much rain. But these lifts and everything are just opening this weekend alone. So that wraps it up for the weekend edition of Vale Valley Live. Thanks for joining us. And to all the fathers out there, happy Father's Day. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. And we'll see you next time. It's summer in the mountains. It's summer in the mountains. It's summer in the mountains. And we're out here living it. Living it. Living it. Lots to do, lots to see. Every morning. Every morning. Every morning. At 7.30. 7.30. It's Vail Valley Live. It's Vail Valley Live. Watch us now. Watch us now. Watch us now.